Hey guys! We will do some makeup tonight. I'm like almost right on time. It's almost right at 8.30. I have my fan on in the back because it's so hot in here. So hopefully that's not too loud in the background. Um, today I was thinking of doing a smoky eye, a brown smoky eye, show you some tips and tricks on how to get one. Um, and I'll show you guys all the stuff I'm using. So yeah, we'll just kind of hang out and play with makeup and just do all the things. Just pulled my hair up out of the way. When you hop on, say hi. If you're catching the replay, say hi. Um, but yeah, so I want to show you guys a nice, smoky eye how to get it to blend really easily and beautifully without it looking like raccoon eyes i would usually wear false lashes with this but since it's 8 30 at night and i'm not going anywhere i'm probably not going to put the lashes on tonight but usually with this look i would put some lashes on but we'll do the brown smoky eye we'll do the face and the contour and all the things and i'll walk you guys through exactly everything that i use um all of my favorite products some of my brushes here that I have and just all the things. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So, hi, Laverne, did I say your name right, Laverne? Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> all right, so the first thing I always do before I do any kind of eyeshadow look, especially if it's more detailed because I have hooded lids and they tend to get oily. So I like to come in first with a good primer so I like this Urban Decay Primer. I will prime and conceal. Yay, okay, awesome. All right, so this primer right here is has been my go-to for so long and I just kind of place it where I want it and then I get a brush and I just tap that in. You can also use your finger. And I am going to start with my eyes first because if you're messy at makeup like I am, you don't have to worry about it getting all in your foundation. Laverne, where are you from? I'm in North Pole, Alaska, and it is so hot here. It's in the 80s. I know the lower 48, that's like nothing, but there's no air conditioner like anywhere here. So my house is like so hot. That's my fans on. All right, so that was the Urban Decay primer. Now I'm gonna go in with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Ochre. Ochre, I think it's Ochre. <laughs> and I like to use just a little bit goes a long way. And if you have hooded lids, really make sure that you get it into that crease. It's like 90. Oh, you're in Fairbanks. Okay, yeah, so you know. I know some people are like, I'm in Anchorage and it's so cool here. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> it's 90 in your apartment. That's awful. So bad. It's like 84 right now in my house. But it's not fun at all. All right. So this is a product that I am obsessed with that helps me. My eyeshadow will stay fresh looking all day. And I also use this on clients. I have one in my uh, professional kit. It's the best. And they sell MAC now at Ulta, so that's great. This also just makes it a great canvas for working on. All right, so there we go. And again, a little bit of product goes a long way. I just tap in there once and I just, Spread that throughout the entire lid all the way up to my brows and I'm kind of pushing it into my skin rather than just smearing it around okay so that's prepped good to go make sure I got it in there good all right and then I like to come in with a nice fluffy brush and an eyeshadow color that is a lot lighter than my skin tone I'm gonna use Saints eyeshadows for this. So I'm gonna come in with this color right here called Cupcake. This is just prepping the base. And I am going to put that all over where I just put down that paint pot color. Think of like when you set powder on your concealer. It is just gonna make sure 
that the other colors glide on super beautifully and nothing is going to budge or crease. And also, if you have oily lids, nothing is going to come through. Okay, so that's what we're looking like so far. Okay, now, so I am gonna do a brown smoky eye. So there's gonna be some dark browns going up to like a warmer medium tone brown. So I'm gonna see about, let's see, I'm trying to figure out what colors I wanna use. Let's see, Sedona, Bubba, there's so many. This is my Saint eyeshadow palette. I have so many eyeshadows in here. These are all like my favorite ones from them. So my go-to color with them is this one right here. I'm a beginner when it comes to hooded eye makeup. Well, I got you, girl, because I have done all the tricks. <laughs> the main trick is prepping and doing your makeup with your eye open. Don't just do it shut and put your makeup right here. I'm going to show you. You're going to want to bring it up. Okay, so I'm going to start first. I'm going to call this my transition color. This is Bubba. It's a really pretty warm medium color. That's it right there. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush. This is also a Saint brush. And I'm going to pack that on my brush and tap off the excess. And I'm going to just kind of start windshield wiping that right above my crease, okay? Since I do have hooded lids, if I were to just put that in my crease, when I open, you wouldn't see anything. So the main thing with hooded eyes is you want to do your makeup with your eyes open because look at how much a lot of people with hooded lids have so much space right here and they don't utilize this for eyeshadow. They focus down here. You really want to make sure that you bring your colors up so that you actually see, you know, dimension and color in your eye. Let me show you the difference over here. This is what I used to do, okay? I used to just be like, okay, I'm gonna put the color in my crease and I'm gonna be good to go like that. Do you see the difference? Even though this isn't what it's gonna look like in the end, but that's a huge difference. Like you really wanna bring it up and that's why I say keep your eye open so you really see what you're doing. And then I like to kind of pull that color out, almost like flicking it out. And it also helps blend it. And I don't really care if a lot gets out here because it's going to get cleaned up with my foundation. So look at that difference. If I only did this, when I look down, you might see it a little bit. But you really want to see it when your eyes open because you're not walking around with your eyes shut all day. So I'm going to do the same thing over here, keeping my eye open. And I'll do circular motions too to kind of blend it in like this and then pulling it out too. So that's a huge tip for girls with hooded lids. Like really focus on bringing that color up. I wouldn't go all the way up to your brow, of course. You wanna keep under your brow, like under your arch right there, you want that to stay light. But don't be afraid, because like my structure, like I bring it up to like right there. You wanna play with it and just kind of see what works best for your structure, but do not be afraid to bring the color up. All right, so in this light, this is kind of looking kind of orangey brown. I might go in, that was a little bit lighter, that was Bubba. I'm probably gonna use three different browns for this look. So now, this color right here, I really want Philly, but I don't know where it is. Let me see if I could find it. I don't think I have Philly on me. Let me see. I don't think I do. Okay. So I'm going to use Sedona. So there's Bubba. This is Sedona. It's just a little bit darker. This one's a little bit more of like a orange tone. This one's a little bit more of a red tone. So Sedona is just gonna kind of go right over that to kind of build up that color even more and again, flicking it out. And I am actually gonna bring that in to my brow right there, the inner part of my brow. Still leaving this part right here open, 
but smoking that in right there. The smoke outside is insane. It is, isn't it? I was on Facebook earlier and I was just looking at like all the fires there are and it's like I knew it was gonna happen. It happens every year. It was bound to happen, but it's just so quick, so fast. Okay. And you can see, I'm just kind of just being sloppy with it right now. I'm not getting too, like, critique with it right now. I am just slopping this color where I want it. And I'm not putting anything on my lid yet. Because I'm going to do something else with that. Okay. This is just one of those looks where you got to trust the process. Okay, so when I do this smoky eye, what I like to do is I like to use a brown eyeliner. And I really like this one right here. It's NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner. It is waterproof. So again, you guys with hooded lids, it's not going to transfer. It's not going to move. It's not going to budge. It's going to stay there. So what I like to do is I like to take this maybe what is happening okay and I like to come in on my lid basically and this is a very dark brown okay so I start with that for now I'm gonna take the smaller end of this brush and I'm gonna start blending that in as much as I can since this is a very good eyeliner, this isn't going to like move around a lot. So where you place it pretty much is where it's going to stay. And I am going to put eyeshadow on top of this. So I'm not too concerned. And this is a brown color, even though it looks kind of like a charcoaly brown. This is a brown. I'm kind of keeping it right on my lid for now and I'm gonna try to drag up just a little bit into my crease but you will notice this specific eyeliner does not really move and that's what I like about it so much I'm just kind of blending it in together I don't really want it to move around a lot I want it to stay where I place it okay and really make sure you get in that crease because you don't want to have a white crease when you close your eyes. So for me, if I don't get in there really good, when I close my eyes, there will be a white crease. So, just like that. So once you get to about that look, I'm gonna go do the other eye and then I'll show you. I pack an eyeshadow on top of that and I kind of blend it up, kind of ombre it, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna come on this side now. Just packing it on my eyelid like that. What is today, Thursday? Man, this week kind of flew by for me. Looks good so far, thank you. I always think, sometimes I do these looks and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know about this one. But then it's like, oh, not too shabby. So yeah, right in here, hooded lid girls, really make sure you wanna bring it up. You wanna bring it up where you have that crease even a little bit so when I open I could still kind of see it and if it's not perfect it's okay we can always come back in and fix it and eyeshadow is gonna kind of help too this is just going to darken up the base pretty much you could also I actually want to get the Mac paint pot they have different colors of these 
They have one called Fabstract. I really want it. It's a really pretty dark brown. That would be really good too, where you could just do this like I did before where I put my whole lid and you could put it where you want it. Like that's on my wish list. But for now, this is a good option too. If you had the paint bot though, you probably wouldn't have to build it up as much because that's very pigmented. And that would be a very good base. Okay. We're making some progress. Alrighty. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with another eyeshadow color. I'm gonna go darker. Probably gonna use this color right here called Coco. It's one of my favorites. It's a warmer brown. So you can see this is more of like a charcoaly brown. I'm gonna go over it with a warmer brown because I do want a little bit of a warmer smoky eye and it's gonna even each other out pretty well. So I am just packing this color on top and then I'm just going to kind of circle that in, just like that. And then I might even go to the pencil side of the brush and start packing some of that eyeshadow just to kind of clean up a little bit right in there. And I'm going to bring it even more into that crease and you're gonna kind of see that kind of come together a little bit more. And what's nice is you can play with this as much as you want. You can make it as deep as you want. You can go even darker. You can add a little bit of black even because black with brown is really pretty for a smoky eye. So yes, I love cocoa. Cocoa is a very pretty color. As you can tell, this is like my third one in like four years. <laughs> it's good. It's a good one. So I just pack it on and then I take the pencil side and I just kind of go in there and define where I want it and then I'll fluffy side and bring it up a little bit. I can't believe it's already almost August. Usually I would be pretty stressed right now because I was a teacher. I would be stressing because school starts soon. <laughs> and all the teachers are having to get everything ready to go back to school, but I'm not teaching this year. So it's like, oh, that's kind of a relief for this year. I'm gonna sub, but I'm not gonna teach classroom. So it's actually kind of nice. Okay, so that's what I'm working with so far. And then I'm gonna kinda go back into that second color I used, which was this one, Sedona. And I'm gonna just kinda marry the colors together right there. And then Bubba, again, just kind of marrying the colors together, okay? And you can just kinda see how it all just blends together. And then that part underneath my brow, I'm leaving that for now. Okay. So that's all I'm gonna do for now with my eyes. I'm gonna come back in and do a little bit more. I might do some eyeliner actually, and I might clean it up a little bit, but that's about it. Let's see. Got my micellar water. So when I clean this up, I like to use some micellar water and just like a Q-tip to clean up my mess. And then I'll probably put on some eyeliner. My youngest of three graduated from high school, so I won't have to do any shopping. Well, that's nice. I bet that's like, whoo, nice relief. It's expensive. I'm homeschooling this year. So like we get an allotment, which is really nice. And I don't have to buy school uniforms this year because they went to a Christian school last year. So, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so I just get these on Amazon. I like these because they're flat. Put a little bit of my cellar water on here and I'm just pulling that back. But yeah, my kids wanted to homeschool this year. So I was down, I was like, okay, 
can't say no to that because you're only young for so long. Okay. There we go. Perfecto. All right. Now, let's see. I really, really like this Inglot gel eyeliner. Oh, I left my eyeliner brush out there. I washed all my brushes today and it's still probably wet. But I'm going to use this. This is Saints. Actually, I'm going to do my brows first before I use this. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have black brows. But this is also a Saint brush that I'm going to use. I'm just going to fill in my brows a little bit and then I'll do that. Let's see. Where's my stuff? Turning into a hot mess. There it is. I'm going to go in with, let's see. I'm just going to use an eyeshadow on my brows and then a brow pen. So I'm going to go in with the color Coal Trust. So this is an eyeshadow, another Saint eyeshadow, and I am just going to, I have microbladed eyebrows, so it's really easy for me to fill in my eyebrows, but I'm just going to kind of line what's already there. And then the top two, I'm going to do kind of a more bold brow with this look. Yeah, so anyways, with homeschool, last year when I taught, I was my daughter's teacher. I taught kindergarten last year. And then three years ago, I was my son's teacher. I was his kindergarten teacher too. So at least I know I could teach them. But it's going to be interesting to like get out of the classroom, you know, like mindset and be, you know, we can make it whatever we want, which is really exciting. But, you know, we get to do it on our terms and how we want to do it and I think my son's really excited about that too. Cause he would finish work and then he would be frustrated, I guess you could say, that so much time would be spent, I don't know, at school <laughs> doing nothing. But yeah, so my daughter's gonna be in first grade and my son's gonna be in third grade. I think I'll definitely have more challenges with my daughter than my son. She definitely gets more frustrated. I need a, like, there's like a cluster of hair right there. It's driving me nuts. But when I taught her in kindergarten, she would just get frustrated very easily if she didn't understand something. But yeah, no waking up early, getting ready, having to go to work. I'll be doing the makeup gig full time. So that's nice taking makeup clients for photography or weddings or whatever special event makeup needed. I'll be teaching makeup classes. I still sell my online makeup, so that'll keep me busy too. So that's really nice. Okay, that's gonna be good enough. So yeah, I'm excited. They're excited. We got two puppies now, so we're gonna be busy. Definitely gonna be busy. All right, so now I was gonna do this with eyeliner. So I am going to do should I do black or brown? I think brown won't show up as good. I think I'm going to do black. My youngest is high functioning autistic. He graduated from Matthew and loved it. And everyone worked really good with him. Oh, that's good. That's good. Especially when you find people that work really well with the special needs. That's good. Okay. So this right here, if you have not tried this gel liner, so you're missing out. It's legit the best that I've ever used. And I use this on clients too, brides especially, like if they're gonna cry, waterproof mascara. And this eyeliner is so thin, so easy to work with, and it will not budge. Like once it sets, it's not gonna go nowhere. So I like to use it on a nice angled brush. I like to take off any excess on my hand like that. And it's so thin, like 
I usually don't use this brush, but I think it's going to be okay. So what I like to do is I like to come in. Sometimes I like to use tape for this, but for the sake of this video, it's fine. Hopefully. Hopefully it's fine. So I make a line starting at my lower lash line, like right here, and I just kind of flick and follow that line up, okay? I don't think I could do this just looking at my camera. I need a, I need a mirror. All of your products and brushes. I will. Most of this is Saint. Most of it is Saint. And some of this stuff is linked in my Amazon storefront. Um, but yes, for sure. I will try to link all the things that I use. I'll put all the description of stuff that I use. And then it's either in my Amazon storefront or it's in my Saint. But if you want color matched for like the foundation, let me know and I can help you there too. Okay, so yes, I did two little flicks going up. I really don't know if they're that even, but it's all good. They're sisters, they're not twins. And then, I personally like to come in and stamp my lashes first. So I'll just go on my lash and I'll stamp it. If that makes sense. Instead of like drawing a line, I just stamp. It just helps make such a nicer, clean cut line. So that's a little tip for you. And I just feel like this is just so much easier to work with than a pen, which can get out of control really quickly. Okay. Now also when doing winged liner on a hooded lid, this can be another tricky one. You want to look down into your mirror. You don't want to pull your skin or like pull this up or like go like this. You don't want to do any of that. Okay. You want to grab a mirror and you want to look down into it and you just kind of want to take it very lightly. and connect and if it's not super clean it's okay because we can clean it up like I totally went way too far over it's all good totally fine and if it's too low it's okay like it's super easy to fix so I used to stress out that right away it's messed up everything's messed up I gotta start all over it's terrible it's really not though just kind of get it where you want it and then take your little buddy here and then you're gonna clean it up which is another reason why I do this before my foundation Ah. And if you mess up again, it's okay. This is just one of those things that's going to take practice. So now, when you look at this, you will see that it flows nicely when I close my eye, when I look at you. What you don't want to see is a big divot right here. I'm just going to show you something that can happen if you do this the wrong way. So, if somebody were to just kind of hold this and go like this, I'm going to show you the difference of what it can look like. Ah, this is not easy to do on the phone. So this is something I used to do. And I just want to show you why you shouldn't do this. Maybe it's not going to do it. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Well, it actually didn't turn out that bad. That did not do what I wanted it to do. So a lot of times, I don't know if you've ever seen somebody have a wing eyeliner and it looks like a check mark, like it looks like a like a smiley face. That's because sometimes they go like this and they pull it and they're doing it like this instead of looking down into a mirror. And I just did this, I think it's because I'm so used to it now, I can't do it the wrong way. Not that it's wrong, not that it's wrong, but it could be better, okay? Whenever you see your eyeliner and you look in the mirror and it just looks like, I don't know, like wings. You're having wings, but like your wings are like smiling at you. You don't want them to smile at you. You want to open your eye, okay? You don't want them to be smiley at you. If that makes sense, I think it makes sense. I did not do a good job at like showing you <laughs> a smiley wing. Okay, so another tip with hooded lids, girls. Let me fix this real quick and I'll give you another tip. This dries out really fast, so add a little bit more. You do not want to uh, I can't multitask like that. You do not want to bring your eyeliner all the way across your lid. Okay, I kind of did a little bit here, which is okay. I'll just add a little bit of eyeshadow there. But the reason is, is because it can get too thick too quick. And you do not want to make your eye space here smaller. Okay, if you have a black you know, thick eyeliner there that takes up most of your space is gonna take away from that really pretty smoky color. So I suggest only taking your black eyeliner to about usually the outside of your um, pupil, like right about right there, okay? So over here, I'll bring it up just a little bit more. So stamp it, go to the lash, stamp. Yeah. like that okay you do not want to bring it all the way across and I am guilty of this some days I just slap on my eyeliner and call it good and I do I get a little too crazy but you don't want to do that because what it's gonna do is it's gonna make your eye look smaller and it's just going to take away from what you're trying to do which is give your eye some more space. Okay, I need to make that one a little longer. And I'm really messing this one up. It's all good, I guess, I don't know. Well, I guess I kind of did it. You just can't really see it on the camera. This one is a little more droopy. Okay. What else? All right, now I'm just gonna fix that area out there that I did. All right, what you could do even is take a little bit of that black eyeliner and go on the inner part of your eye. So what I like to do is just kind of stamp it and wiggle it right in there. messy when I say I'm messy at makeup this is what I mean guys I am like legit so messy and it's all good and I know I'm not the only one so I just like to take this little brush and just kind of I'm kind of more on the inside than the outside like that okay all right there we go. And then you could even smoke out a little bit more if you wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I'm gonna stop messing with it. 
because I'm going to add mascara and if I had lashes it would be even more like it'd be really good it'd be really good the corner of your eyes yeah like right in there I usually do t I like to but for me I have such sensitive eyes I like that look a lot I might do it at the end just for the sake of this but sometimes my sensitive eyes get the best of me okay I'm gonna move on now to my foundation I'm gonna grab it here I'm gonna go ahead and prime first so I really like this um, milk hydro grip another good dupe for this is the elf power grip I think is what it's called so good it's a tacky primer and there's no like silicone in it or anything so my makeup is going to kind of adhere to it rather than slide off of it you don't want any silicone based or anything like that primer especially if you use the creams you can just see it's like tacky that's what I want okay and then I'm gonna go in I'm gonna do more of a full coverage foundation for this so I'm gonna use this brush this is another saint brush this is a buff brush and I'm gonna start with my contour so I'm gonna use this yeah I'll just use this side I'm going to use the color let's see what do I want to use today olive Astoria so our tins come like this they are very small okay but they're so pigmented a little bit goes a long way you really do not need a lot of product at all so when I contour I'm packing it on my brush I'm not sweeping it or digging into it I'm just packing it on my brush and I am just going to place my contour right on my cheekbone okay so pretty much like at the top of my ear is a good guide pretty much for everybody it's a good guide where I start and I just slid that right across my cheekbone Hair got in there okay and then I'm gonna do my forehead and the reason why we contour is because when you put on foundation it makes you very one-dimensional even if you put blush on or bronzer contour is what's gonna give you back dimension in your face so so far I put it on my cheekbones and I kind of made a rainbow across my forehead. You can see I'm really getting it back into my hairline, just like that, okay? So temple to temple, and that's gonna help minimize my forehead. Contouring is playing tricks with the eyeballs, okay? So it's going to make my cheeks look lifted, and it's going to help minimize the appearance of my forehead. You can also contour a little bit on your jaw to help hide a chin, I suggest blending it out right away. Now, I am pretty red just because I'm so hot. So I'm just gonna come in with a little bit of color corrector. This is another contour color, it's called Aspen. It's very light, it's really not even ideal to be a contour color for any skin tone but it's amazing at concealing redness. So if you have eczema, like I do, or psoriasis or anything like that, this is going to be your best friend. Just look at how it just kind of canceled out that redness. And it's just the tiniest amount where I need it. I am just putting that where I am so red because I'm so hot, which this would probably go away, but it's all good. So if you tend to get really flushed when you're hot or whatever, you can put this on wherever you tend to get red and it's not your redness will not come through. Okay, so now going back to this big end of my brush and I'm gonna go in with the color that I use for all over and I'm basically going to place that where I didn't put my contour. And it looks crazy at first, I know, oops. That's not the color I wanted. That's too light. I think I used the wrong color. <laughs> it's all good. Did I? I think I did. Yep. Shoot. I used my winter color. Okay. So 
It's all good. I can fix. I can fix. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Where's all my... I have sponges. I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. Darn. Okay. Well, I'm just going to take this and kind of... It's okay because it's my under eye. And that's going to be bright anyway. So I'm just going to keep that color there. And then I'll do the rest of my face in this other color. So, all right. So I used Candlelit there, which is actually my winter color, not my summer color. And I'm going to use Athens, which is hardly a difference. But if you don't have the right color when placing and you notice you have texture on your skin, it's because your color is not right. Okay. So if you're using Saint, if you're a customer of mine, and you notice that you have like your pores are showing up more, or your skin is just not looking good, and it used to, but not anymore, you need a new color match. It is always usually a color match issue. Some people will think it's their skin, just rejecting the makeup all of a sudden, but usually not the case okay so so far I'm just kind of pressing that into my skin and I know I look crazy this is this is another one of those trust the process things I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and don't forget your ears don't forget your ears guys okay especially if you self tan don't forget your ears it drives me nuts <laughs> okay so far there we go and then I'm going to take a little bit of that contour again. I'm going to put it on the tip of the small end of this brush and I'm going to contour my nose. So what I like to do is on the top of my nose, not the side, the top of my nose, I'm drawing a line down and I'm going to meet that line up to my brow like that. Okay. Same thing on this side. What do you guys think? Comment below, do you contour? Comment contour if you contour. I'm really curious. And then sometimes I like to do like a little connect the lines right there. Kind of gives you a button nose. So contour can be so fun. There's so much you can do with contouring, okay? It can transform your nose completely. People can think like, wow, she got a nose job. It's like, nope, it's just contour. That's all it is, it's just contour. Okay, same brush. I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade now. I'm gonna go in with the color Versailles and I'm just gonna pop it right in the inner corner, a little bit on the outer. And I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of that I've never contoured. I never, I tried it, actually I take that back. I tried it once before becoming an artist and using this makeup and it was the most awful thing ever. I looked absolutely ridiculous. I had no idea what I was doing. So this is my pop highlight. This is just going to bring me attention. So I have a lot going on right now. You might be like, what is happening? So let me explain everything. So contour my cheekbones to lift, contour on my forehead to minimize the appearance of my forehead, contouring my nose. This is a prep that you don't have to. But for me, if I'm contouring everything else and my nose isn't contoured, it just kind of like sticks out like a, like a sore thumb. But that's preference. I contoured my jaw, okay? And then I went in around with my main color, Athens. I did a little bit brighter under here, which usually I would have used Athens and then the bright pop highlight. I pop highlight on the inner corner, the outer, and then my smile line. Sometimes I come under here and then a little bit on my Cupid's bow. Another thing you can do, I was just thinking of it, what was I thinking? Oh, is you can contour your lips. Again, preference. When I contour my lips, I only do my bottom one. 
because what it's gonna do is again creating shadow making your lip appear fuller sometimes I go right in between my cupid's bow like that okay boom that's it that is it for placement on my makeup so now same brush I'm just gonna start pressing not swirling or going crazy I am just pressing that makeup into my skin like so okay and I'm gonna do the lighter colors first stick with the lighter colors and then the darker colors okay and then once I'm done setting my makeup I'll come in and fix any eyeshadow or anything that needs to be fixed okay so you want to press and kind of buff motion so I'm just kind of like pouncing on my skin right now all right so now I'm gonna start doing the contour so to do that Kind of those same motions I'm pressing up I'm doing this motion okay and I'm pulling that contour up you don't want to go down because we want to lift things we don't want to go down with it because we don't want to give ourselves a five o'clock shadow okay so there's my contour on my cheek it instantly it like makes you look like you've lost 10 pounds in your face it's amazing what contour does it just lifts and snatches everything into place and I go to that bottom part of my contour and again just like that pouncing motion and then I like to pull it back into my hairline you do not want to have a white hairline no bueno so make sure you get it back in your hairline if you have super blonde hair you want to be a little bit more careful I have really dark hair so it's fine on me but if you have really really blonde hair you kind of just want to like be a little bit more gentle because you don't want your hair to turn orange or anything in those areas okay and sometimes I go like where I had that eyeshadow on the outside and I just press and it kind of diffuses that line okay there we go now for my contour in my nose I'm just pressing sometimes I have my beauty sponge my blender but I forgot it I washed everything and I left it out there and it's all good okay there we go there we go and you notice like I didn't have to wipe my brush off or anything the creams sit right on top of the brush they don't go down deep okay you do want to clean your brush because if you don't clean it for a long time yes the creams will go down but that's what's really nice is the creams sit on your brush and go on your skin okay so I don't have to worry about cleaning my brush in between colors or anything like that or using a different brush nothing okay all right now I'm going to use this brush is the wash brush. I always get it wrong. I always get this brush wrong. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. Bronzer only warms up your face. That's all it does, okay? Our contour gives coverage, okay? It will give you, ugh, this hair. It will give you coverage. Our bronzer will not. Our bronzer is a lot more sheer. And I like to place bronzer pretty much where the sun would naturally give me that sun-kissed glow like that i'm going to do the tops of my cheeks so this was contour here this is bronzer again just warming up the skin a little bit i might dust some on my nose and then down my neck because a lot of times our neck is a lot lighter than our chest so you can do that all right if you want to clean up your contour just take the brush you were working with earlier that already has a little bit of 
product on it and just kind of see how I swooped it up. It just kind of cleans it up. So cream makeup is so easy to work with. It's like having a magic eraser. It's so good. It blends together so easy. It's just, it's so amazing to work with. All right. Here we go. I'm going to add some blush. And then I'm going to fix up my eyeshadow. And we're almost done, kind of. All right, so my blush, let's see. I think I'm gonna use, hmm, this color right here is really pretty. I hope we still have it. I don't wanna show you something we don't have. I don't know if we do. I don't know if I should show you. It's Renaissance. If we don't have it, I'm sorry, but this is Renaissance. I'm gonna use this color. This would be really pretty on date night with this type of look. It's kind of like a, a burgundy-ish tone, you could say. It's one of my favorite colors. And if you have this color, you know how pretty it is. All right, there we go. You can even use our colors There it is on the lips. I don't know if I would wear this lip color with this look. I'll probably wipe this off, but just to give you an idea, that's what it looks like on the lips. Okay, now I'm going to fix my eyes up, finish them up. I'm going to set my makeup real quick too. So my little puff, I love these things. I get these on Amazon. I'm just gonna kind of press everything in and I'm gonna set with some powder and then I'm going to finish my eyes. I've never contoured, yeah. I think I'm gonna do a nude lip with this. What do you think? I am just more of a nude lip kind of girl. I am. I do more nudies. All right, let's see. So the powder I love, it's more, expensive but it's a favorite of mine is Fenty Beauty. Oh Ooh, no I did not just do that. I spilled some of it. I am using what's on my leg right now because I just spilled some of it on my leg. Okay so <laughs> Fenty Beauty powder and I put it on my puff and I come in and I just press that into my skin like that. I cannot believe I just did that. That is, that's ridiculous. Best believe I'm gonna use it. All right, that's been my day, I swear. Okay, I like to take some and like tap it on my hand a little bit so I don't have too much. I do tend to get a little bit more shiny though. So like on my forehead and the areas I do get more shiny, I will pack it on a little bit more and let it sit for just a minute. All right, and then I like to come around and place some in like my beard area. Guys, I will not believe how much of that just came out. Okay. And that, really crisps up your contour too. I am a mess. Okay. There we go. And I'm not going to wipe this off until I am done with my eyes because if I get any fallout, it'll wipe off really easy. Okay. I can't believe I did that. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. That's so sweet. Okay. If you knew how much of a hot mess I was right now, you'd be like laughing at me. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into my eyeshadow palette. I am going to grab a little bit more of that cocoa and I am just going to kind of go over it a little bit more. 
just the tiniest amount. Another thing you can do is I'm gonna go into that Sedona and I'm just gonna kind of go up with that color is a little tip. You can use your brown eyeshadow to kind of contour your nose a little bit to set your contour. You don't really wanna use a super dark color for that, but you can bring it down a little bit. Voila, and then I just press it in. Okay, and then what I like to do is, same brush, I'll take the pencil side with that darker brown and that medium brown and I smoke out my lower lash line. I love using eyeshadow to line my lashes, my lower lash line because it just looks so much more natural and it ties the look together so I'll do the pencil side there's a bug in here all right just like that sorry there is a bug in here and I don't know what kind of bug it is and if you guys know me, those of you that really know me know how much I hate bugs. Legit. Okay, so there's that. I am going to put some black eyeliner on my waterline. And I am almost done. I'm just going to use a brow pencil for that. Or not a brow pencil. An eyeliner. I'm getting, I'm getting crazy, guys. Getting crazy. Okay. So I'm going to take this on my waterline and I also recommend doing your upper waterline too. The reason is, is because sometimes some people's the way their eyes are, you will see your skin under there and everything will be so dark. And then you'll see that little piece of skin in, in pictures, it might drive you crazy. So just do a little bit on your waterline there. It'll make a big difference. Okay, there we go. And this always bothers my eyes. So once I do my eyeshadow and my eyeliner, I always come in and have to do mask or eye drops, I have to. And these ones are my favorite. They're the Lumify, they don't burn. I also use another one from Bosch. Oh, this is Bosch. But anyways, there's another one that I use and it burns the heck out of my eyes and this one doesn't burn my eyes. Okay, so there's the eyes and then I'm gonna just come in with mascara. Usually, I would have just done I would have done lashes, but I'm not going to put lashes on today. If I had somewhere to go, I would. But if that's something you guys are interested in, is learning how to apply lashes, I could definitely do that for you guys. Not tonight, because I don't even have them ready. <laughs> but I can definitely do that for you guys. I'm going to come in with a little bit of this brow pen. This is a NYX Lift and Snatch. And I like to make these little hair strokes right in the front of my brow. I feel like it just makes everything look more natural. Okay, there we go. So what do we think of that smoky eye? Would we go darker? Would we wanna see it darker? Do we like that look? Cause you could even make your lid black where it goes black brown and then a lighter brown which i've done that before too but i do have this um 
black glitter that I want to use one day when I do a smoky eye. And if I were to put false lashes on today, the way I would do it is I would cut my lash maybe to like two thirds of a lash and I would only use that and I would give myself more of a cat eye look. So I would cut a lash and I'll show you guys that maybe in my next video. I think I'm gonna start doing weekly night lives because during the day I'm just noticing people work and you know, don't get as many people on. But I would put and it would give me more of a cat eye look. That's what I would do. So maybe on my next slide, I'll do the black smoky eye and I'll do the cat eye look. And this right here is my all time favorite mascara. It's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So good. I have been using this for years. So I like to come in with one coat and then I come in and then when it's tacky, I go to the root and I really pull up on it. Like that. And it just instantly like lifts them and kind of curls them because I don't curl my lashes because I just, I'm terrified of those things. So the last thing I would do is put on a little bit of illuminator. Where is my illuminator? There we go. So when you order Saint, you'll get a compact like this where it has all your colors for your custom color match. There's some that you can start small, you can start large. Like this is kind of a smaller one. And then they have larger ones. Like this is an empty one. I think there's only one color in here. But this has three stacks. Well, you can fill it up as much as you want. So it's really cool. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with this brush again. I'm gonna go in, this is a cream illuminator and it's just going to add a little bit of glow back into my skin. Since I used powder, just look at that. When the light hits it, it just reflects off my skin, looking like nice, dewy, healthy skin. I don't think I would wear this lip with this look, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something else. I'm going to I'm gonna use this. This is Revlon Color Stay in what color is this? Nude. If you don't use a lip liner, your lip color will not last as long, but if you use a lip liner, it makes a huge difference. But I'm just gonna come in with my favorite gloss. It's Anastasia in Deep Taupe. I love this, so good. All right. That's more, that's more me. Even though it still had a little bit on there, it's all good. And then I would spray it using my setting spray, which is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the best. And there we go. There we have it. Nice smoky eye. What do we think? Do we like it? Would you wear this? Comment below. Would you wear this look? all done. This makeup will last me all day. It's just so good. So if you go to, let's see, the link in my bio, all of my links are there. So even on this business page, my links are there where you can get color matched. The shopping link is there. My Amazon storefront link is there. I'll also take a picture of this look afterwards. Um, I'll post the colors I used with Saint, um, the products I used, and then I'll also put my Amazon link and my color match link and all the things. I'll put all the things there for you guys, all right? But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you and we will do this 
weekly night life because I like it. It's fun hanging out. All right. I love it. And I'd wear that look. Yay. I'm so glad. Well, thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys later.